Hello Capricorn, thank you for, just realized my hair's going crazy, that's fine. Um, thank you for tuning in to your relationship read. For the main part of the read, The Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan, uh, illustrations by Mark Evans. For the support of Oracle Cards, The Angel's Answers, Oracle Cards by Dorian Virtue and Radley Valentine. I think I might have had a little bit too much coffee, so I might be a little zippy. So we'll see. So we're going to do relationship first. Single second, and the oracle cards come out as needed. You, you. All right, there's a lot of. The more I got close to doing um, your read today, I was getting a lot of energy, and I was like, well, I had some coffee, but I'm like, the more I think of it, it was wasn't really that much compared to like I usually have a couple cups, and I, I had a couple sips, <laughs> and I'm just like, I feel like a lot of energy is coming through, so maybe it's for this reading. We'll find out quickly. Yes. Now, that's it. Both face down. All right. So, I feel like this is where we're starting. Is this the past or the current? This feels more current. All right. So, your partner has ideas of things they want to do. You have, they have the two of wands, you have the ten of wands. I feel like they're going out to do something, but I feel like you're following right behind and picking up the burdens. Um, as a relationship thing, I feel like your partner's, whatever they're going out to do, you're going with them. So it's like, it's whatever they're heading out or tackling, the three of wands isn't going away from you, you're actually traveling with your partner or heading out on this venture with them. You're in it together with them. They seem to be in the lead, you're following, but you seem to be picking up a lot of the pieces, making sure everything does work out. Is that correct? I don't know if it's picking up the pieces as, as much as like feeling stress about doing it. Like your, your partner wants to do something, they're heading out, they're starting something. And you're feeling the stress of it, but you're right in there with them. That's definite. You're in there. You're in there with them. Like this is a group effort between you and your partner. So when they see the three of wands, it's not that they're walking away from you. You're going with them, but whatever it is that's going on, you're feeling some stress about it. I see they're the initiator, but you're the one that seems to have a bit of stress. Um, so it makes me wonder if they're like. I don't really feel any stress on their side. But I feel like it's because they're, the, they're the initiator and they have the control about where it's going, when it's going, that type of thing. To a degree, anyway. I definitely feel the stress on your side, though. This feels more current. Alright. Alright, so this is leading into this. And I feel like as your partner gets into this, it's like this is... I don't feel like this is a shock. Because the tower is here... Which is usually a sudden, but I don't feel like it's a shock. And like, because I see that the world on your side and the tower on their side, like for you, it's not a shock that things are coming down. You're expecting this phase, like this is ending one phase, starting a new one. It's almost like a move or something, or this is definitely something, this is changing your life. You and your partner as a, as a couple some their partner's initiating this, you're following, you're seeing the stress in this. But it seems like you're because you're accepting the stress right off, the world is more of your flavor of what's going on, or your flavor. Um you're aware that this one situation is ending, another's beginning, but you seem to be more optimistic about it. You're accepting the burden as you step into this. Your partner, on the other hand, I feel like they had more of an optimistic outlook. They expected things to go a bit better or to be a bit easier, and then I. But I feel like the tower is on their side because, like these changes are harder than they were anticipating for them. You seem to be faring a lot better though, because you walked in with stress. You walked in seeing it. You walked in expecting it. You're not. Ex you're not. I don't feel like you're expecting it to go as well as your partner is, but I feel like you're expecting your partner to have a little bit of, like, of a rude awakening. All right, so now this, now that's this, this position in the reading, it usually talks about obstacles or what's holding a situation back. 
I feel like this is more in your situation denoting what has to go what has to be gone through before we can go into the next situation. Because I really feel like you're handling it better than your partner, even though your partner seems to be initiating it the farther it goes. Um, now, the reason I'm... One of the reasons I'm saying this is, one, I'm seeing, seeing a negative card over here, and I'm seeing the Hermit go on here. But I am seeing the Emperor and his future. Right above it came up this card, the Oracle card, No, which is... It's a soft No. There's two. One with exclamation, one without. The one without is more of kind of like, it doesn't have to be this rough... But I feel like your partner's having some difficulties with these changes. They expected them to be smoother. They wanted them to go a little bit differently than they are. And they might have a little bit of resistance. Now, the no with the passive no, I like to call it, that means it doesn't have to be all that rough. It doesn't have to be that bad. They can move forward fairly well. Um, I feel like it's just taking it one step at a time. I feel like it's settling in. I feel like they have to accept it like you did. I really, I feel, I really feel like that's where we are with this, because with the emperor here and then soft no, and I'm noticing the kids in the background. It's like accepting that certain things have passed. That I feel like your partner wanted to bring certain aspects of this situation into the future, but are realizing that's not going to be possible. And I feel like once they're on the same page as you, and they accept that, and I feel like you might have to have some. Careful conversations. I honestly feel like the best idea here, not because your partner can't handle it, but to make it easier on you and them, you might want to have like a kid's glo kid gloves effect on this. Just handle it very nicely, very softly. Because I feel like they're they're having an issue with that. Because they letting go of the past in a certain way. I feel like you were more on board with it because you've seen it coming. You stepped in with that stress realizing this was going to happen. And they didn't really want to see it that way or thought that they could change it but I feel like if you're really calm and patient the kid glove version of this situation it just goes easier for you and them um, I just feel like they're, they're having a hard time with it after the fact and I almost feel like you're looking at this in the sense of like how did you not realize <laughs> how did you not realize but they weren't thinking of it I just feel like they weren't thinking of it or partially thought they could pull this in forward with them they didn't think they had to lose what they lost something like that all right, I'm going to put that down because they're, they're telling me I'm going way overboard with that. So maybe we're drowning that. So I'm going to let that go. And I'm just going to talk touch on this quickly. Eight of Pentacles, I feel like this is how you're relating to your partner. Um, slow and steady. Kid gloves. I feel like I really feel kid gloves are warranted here for you and for them. And I'm feeling like you're kind of like backing off slowly. Like, I feel like in a, in a sense, you might just kind of be backing away from conversations that you realize even kid glove conversations aren't going to help it. You're just kind of stepping back and let them kind of go through it them on their own because you realize that might be what it takes. Not in, in an abandoning way, just this kind of like stepping back, letting them breathe, letting them sort it out a bit. And then when they're more ready to talk, you're there for them. I feel like you're, you're keeping the communication lines open. But you're not pushing is what's going on here. You're stepping back, letting them breathe because they're having a stress moment. And you're starting to realize that the more you try to help, the worse it gets. It has nothing to do with what you're saying or how you're saying it. It's just the fact that this, the situation is pressing on them. And they don't want to, they're not ready. They need time to step back, breathe, just de-stress. I feel like you're seeing this. You're not like stepping away, like walking out. You're stepping back and just like waiting. Like if you look at this card, it's like stepping back and waiting for them just to relax and to go forward because I'm also seeing the hermit in their spiritual sense. So that's them figuring it out. They need to take a moment and just breathe and sort it out for themselves. They just really need to do that. And I feel like this makes sense to you. Um, it's not like they need to talk to someone else. They just need to stop and let their brain settle and just kind of like sort through their thoughts on their own so they can come back to you and they'll feel more confident and collected. You have the Four of Wands on your side. I feel like um, the Four of Wands here, as your partner steps back, you're okay. I feel like you're seeing the situation in a broader spectrum. You're close enough to your partner to make sure that your partner's okay, but you're stepping back and you're not pushing conversations. It's not like you're not... Like, you're still around your partner, but I just feel like the conversation, the subject, 
you're just not, you're letting them come to you with anything. You're just doing what you have to do. You're doing what has to be done. If you have to go forward to your partner and say something, that's one thing. But if it's something that can be put to the side for now, you're letting it happen. I got this weird. What is that from? Ugh. Sorry. Excuse me. All right. Now, is this? Where is this part? Because this is uh, this is internal. This is internal. Now. Your partner has the Five of Wands, that's, that's conflict. You have the Page of Swords. If you look at the Page of Swords in this deck, it looks like he's getting ready to fight. Swords are communication. I feel like you're in a defensive stance when it comes to this situation. But I don't feel like, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like the sword, sword is the sword. The sword is swinging. I feel like this is one of those things where you're, you're backing off and letting your partner sort it out. Because I feel like your partner might become a little combative. Not like really. I don't feel. I don't feel like it has to go that deep or that bad. But once they start getting a little edgy, cranky, however you know them to be that, whenever that happens, I feel like you're stepping back and you're you're doing the the page of swords. You're stepping back. You're holding your ground, but you're just kind of watching. And you're just like, what am I going to have to deal with? What what should I step back and let you sort out yourself? But they definitely need to sort this out on their own. They're, I feel like they're upset because certain aspects of the situation they thought were, were going to go differently. They really did. And now it's just a matter of like seeing what the reality of it, of it is and sort it out and letting it rest. Because that seems like it's a big piece here, a very big piece with your partner. You seem okay. From the, even from the beginning, you saw things were going to go a little rough. You saw things were going to be a little stressful. You saw it as an ending into a new, ushering a new beginning. You seem to have a broader, calmer perspective, um, which is good. You want to be more on the level is where you're trying to be. Level isn't level-headed. You level-headed in the sense of you, you don't want to get upset. You want to accept the situation for what it is and just kind of roll with it. You're realizing it might be a little bit rough, but you're, you're, I feel like you're looking at it in a long term. Like, no need to cause chaos now that it's just going to have to be picked up later. Like, you don't have a fit and throw everything around the room, but you're the one that's going to come back and pick up and clean up the whole room anyway. Like, why make all that work for yourself? It's kind of like that view. All right, we're going to the end now. Because I feel like the major of this is just your partner's trying to get through this. Even though they're the initiator, which is interesting, they just seem to... They had a a more optimistic outlook and the reality of it just didn't play out that way so it's hard for that sense but the support you're lending I feel like it's going to be okay now where are we going we have one two three for your partner ironically we have three for you too now I feel like when this reading ends you're kind of still keeping away from your partner a little bit because your partner's a little upset and they're just not ready to talk about it. They're still sorting it out. Especially when I see the King of Pentacles here looking at that pentacle in his uh, lap right there. He's still sorting it out. He's getting more of a plan together. He's kind of a little more agitated that it didn't work out the way he wanted to but he's picking the pieces up that he knows are stable and he's realigning his plan. FYI probably said this a lot don't get caught up in the gender i'm sorry i keep saying he because whoever this person is they're realigning their plan and i feel like they're a little agitated it didn't work out the way they thought it would so they're meticulously going through things to find the reality and they're building a pattern forward from there to put things back together that make them comfortable that i feel like is, it's it's it definitely is considering you in that definitely but I feel like they're agitated and they're trying to fix things to the best of their ability to get as close to what they originally wanted as possible. Okay. So there's some, they're doing a lot of internal work. I'm getting, whatever didn't go right, I still see, I still feel that you saw at the very least you were expecting hiccups at the very least. And I just feel like you're handling that better they seem to be thinking the way it worked out, like that's 
like the, it's, it's almost like a blind side but the way you're looking at it from your angle I'm, I feel like you're looking at it like that shouldn't be a blind side because it had it was there was every possibility that that could happen it was very easily to I, I feel like the way you're looking at it, it's very easy to see that possibility coming to light like it did um, so I feel like there's there might be a little bit of a um, friction between you and your partner for that because to you it seems like this was easily a possibility and to them it just didn't seem to sit that way which makes them a little cranky and they're figuring it out I'm trying to see if there's more on their side because I feel like they're just kind of like grabbing a hold of the situation and deciding how they want it to work out in the long run and they're re-evaluating it and re-aligning it but I don't see them like getting your input as much Especially when I see on your side, you have the, the Karma card, the Six of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles. Karma is reminiscent of ju judgment in most decks. Six of Swords kind of moving forward. I feel like this is more of a moving forward. <sighs> moving on from like the discord, moving forward into what can be done, leaving behind what can't. Like it, I, I feel like you're walking away from useless arguments. But you are a little upset about this because the five of pentacles it kind of makes me feel like you're feeling like a little bit left out in the cold because your partner seems to be very tied up in their own feelings about the whole situation and they're even though they're, they are considering you and what they're doing and how they're realigning the plan i don't feel like the communication is there and i feel like that's what's painful right now because it's like you're clearly on their side i mean you're together for a reason but it just feels like you're kind of on your own because they're upset. And when you bring in the reality of the situation, they just seem to like respond like that's pessimistic and all this other stuff. And you're like, it's not pessimistic, it's what's happening. So it's, there's a problem there in that sense. Like I feel like your partner's pretty upset is what's going on. So, but with the judgment overlying it, like everything is still okay Things are still moving forward. You can see that light at the end of the tunnel. I just feel like at this point, you're just not feeling the best about the situation. You're just not feeling as appreciated as maybe you normally would. And you have the Oracle card, Ask Your Angels. It's kind of like, if you're a praying person, maybe it's something you want to do, meditation. Um, letter to the universe sometimes. I don't know if I've explained these before. Um, who came up with that? I want to say that's a Sylvia Brown thing. I could be wrong. I think so. I think so, though. Basically what it is, you, you write a letter out to somebody, their address, their name, the whole deal, as if you were actually sending it to them. And then you write it out. You write out the letter with best intentions as if you were saying this right to their face to solve the situation. And, and then I feel at the end, you, you, gotta, you sign it like a normal letter, and then you burn it, or you bury it, or you get rid of it in some sense. And it kind of releases it and sometimes has really good effects in healing a situation. You might want to look up uh, Letters to the Universe. I feel that's a thing. I don't know if it's a Sylvia Brown thing or not, to be honest with you, right off the top of my head. But I think it's connected to her where I heard it from. I've done it. It seems to have great effect. Uh, but if you're going to do it, definitely look into it a little more because my brain is just... I don't feel like I'm getting all the details. It seems like you have to put a little bit more into it than that. Like, you have to, like, think about what you're saying. Like, you, you, you kind of visualize, like, you're talking to that person as you're writing down. And you always, you, know, you want to make sure that you realize that if you say anything negative, it's like you actually said it to them and you might have a negative response from that person or they might be angry with you and not realize why. you got to be careful. Um, you, if you choose that road, look up Letters to the Universe. I want to say it's a Sylvia Brown thing. B-R-O-W-N-E. There's an E at the end of her name. All right. Now, is this you or your partner? Your partner. All right, so I feel like I'm, this is just reiterating more about your partner. Where, like, they're devising a plan to fix things, to make it go more the way they want. They, get, they have the magician with the ace of pentacles. Like, I feel like this has already been kind of explained with the king of pentacles, but basically they're redevising the plan, re-putting it together, starting it off, they're making it happen. They're in complete control. And they, they are considering you in it. I just feel like the communication isn't coming towards you because they're doing it themselves. They're controlling the whole thing and kicking it off and just saying what's going to happen. They're just not involving you in the conversations or the working it out as much as you'd like. 
All right, I feel like that kind of takes care of this for Capricorn relationships. Um, it's going to be fine. I just feel like at the end of this, you're left kind of in the lurch, not feeling as uh, appreciated as normal. And that's a little rough. That's what I'm thinking. Which can I, I can understand that. Like, your partner seems to be very caught up in it, trying to fix things. And, and, and like, that's their whole focus. All right. Let's do Capricorn singles. Single Capricorn. Single Capricorn. Messages for single Capricorn. I don't know why my nose is all start filling up, but it is. Single Capricorn. Alright, so I feel like we do need the Oracle cards, but I'm looking here and there's not really many negative cards. There's a negative card in the past that might be affecting the situation, the future, but the outcome I'm very much liking. Just two? They're like, yep, just two. Put it down. Okay. First card I'm seeing here, or it's got the strongest energy, is the Ace of Swords communicator. You're the communicator. You're the one. So is this you too? No. So wait a minute. Somebody's coming towards you, but you're the one that's communicating. Somebody's showing you interest. You got the Knight of Sword, Knight of Wands here, overall energy, and I was thinking at first, uh, but they're telling me now. Somebody's coming towards you, but you're the communicator here. Somebody's showing interest. It may be more of like a raw interest, and like they're flat out saying they like you, and you're the one that's working through the conversations. You're the one that's building the conversations, getting in there, finding out about them, telling them about you. I feel like you're more of the communicator in this situation. You're like trying to build like more of a case on why this should go forward. But they're coming towards you. Now has this been going on for a while? Yes, no. Is this connected to this? No. Is this connected to this person? No. <laughs> All right, so I'm seeing the shadow side in your past. I'm also noticing the king of cups in your environment. Now, I feel like there's something a little conflicting about this. Because I, I want to, like, push. I want to go over to the King of Cups and be like, he's the one coming in. But I feel like somebody else also has, like, some type of emotional connection with you in some sense that's affecting this. I'm just not convinced that it's a lover. I, I'm, I'm feeling like somebody else outside of this situation not in a romantic sense, but in some other sense is trying to drive your decision or influence you and whether or not to get involved with certain people. I feel like that's where we have the King of Cups, which is not at all when I saw him put down where I thought he was going to go. But somebody outside of this, and always I say, don't get caught up with the gender. It could be male or female. But definitely this person is trying to influence where this is going. They're, tr they're like, they're, it's almost like they're seeing you get involved with a certain person and they're making their own judgments and then they're telling you what they're seeing and what they think is right and wrong. This is a very, somebody who cares about you deeply. Chloe, come on. Um, she's starting to influence me here. Because uh, I'm getting that needy close energy here. Um, yep, and she put her head in my lap. Okay, I know, I love you too, but I'm... Let me finish this read, and I love you after, okay? I'll take you O-U-T after, okay? Not for nothing, they go all the time. I don't know why she's so... You know what it is? I'm talking, and she just wants the attention. That's what that is. So don't worry. She'll go outside after, in case you're wondering. Um, all right, so we got the King of Cups looking out for you. Looking out for you, but maybe a little bit more influencing than... Needed. I feel like this person more looks at a situation based on how they feel rather than how you feel. And I feel like this person is looking out, they want you to have the best. This person wants you to have the best. And I feel like you're more looking at the situation like some people are messy, some people are worth it. And they're like, they're more looking at it like don't waste your time on heartache. You know, don't waste your time on situations that aren't good to begin with. Something like that. Something seems like... I feel like this is a little bit more harsh view of the situation. Somebody loves you, 
it just like unless it looks really good to them they're just like well maybe you could keep looking meanwhile somebody's coming towards you and i do feel like you feel for this person and you're considering giving it a shot because you're kind of like yeah yep you got the ace of cups at the bottom here and you got the eight of pentacles you have feelings for this person and you're willing to you know take the time to sort it out i still feel like this energy pushing in wants you to kind of I feel like they're trying to influence you. Somebody else is trying to influence from the outside. But they have your best interests at heart. I just feel like it's a more linear view of the situation. It's a more harsh view of the situation. Maybe a more harsh view of the person that's coming towards you. Still, you've got that communication going. You're trying to get more. I feel like as this person comes forward with their influence and opinions... You're taking that to heart and you're trying to find answers based on what they're, they're showing you. Because you're trying to disprove some of the negative aspects that they seem to be worried about for you. Okay. I got the King of Pentacles with the Justice card in the center. You're taking your time. You're figuring it out. You're balancing it out. The emotions are there. They're definitely there. I have to say, even though Justice is here, I do feel like you're kind of tipping the scales in the person's favor. You're giving them benefit of the doubt. You're definitely giving them the benefit of the doubt. You want this to work out, but you're trying to see it honestly, as honestly as possible. But your your feelings are influencing it. So if something has, if this person's hit a bump or two in the past, you're very optimistic that it's going to be fine or it's going to work out well. And you're looking for things that support that attitude. Anything else with this? King of Pentacles is a slow mover, but he's very smart. So even though I feel like you're a little biased, like the two of these together, I feel like you're trying to make uh, a smart decision, but something that's going to last. You're looking at this a little deeper. You're looking at the history of this person. You're trying to see what, what how this could work out best foot forward. What type of things would work to the advantage of this situation? If something goes wrong, how could that be corrected? I feel like that's how you're taking a look at it. You're very optimistic. I feel like there's a very optimistic feel here. Now, what are we doing here? Because you do step back for a minute. And I feel like this is largely due to the King of Cups energy. Somebody stepping in saying, you know what? If it's that good, you don't have to rush. And you're kind of, and I feel like the way you're looking at it, you're like, you know what? I can, I can understand that. I can get behind that. Because you're stepping back, but you're still gathering information. You're still gathering information. You're still staying in contact with this person. I feel like before this moment in the future, you might have been dating a little more heavy. Things might have been getting a, a little bit more heated. And now you're just kind of, you're still talking. You're still seeing each other. But things are like, you're just slowing them down a little bit. You're not slowing the progress, but you're kind of like... It's almost like you're cooking something and you're putting it on the back burner, letting it, letting it simmer instead of like bringing it to a full boil right away. You're just kind of like letting it thicken a bit. I hope that makes sense. Because it feels like that's what you're doing. You're not walking away. You're not stopping the progress of the situation. But you're like, you know what? Let's stop increasing the heat. Let's just let things simmer. Let the plot thicken, if you will. And let me just see how things are like coming forward. Let me see if what I'm thinking is going on here, or how I think this person is reacting, is the truth. If I step back and just see, because I feel like one of the person, one of the things this person is concerned about is like if you, you look the other, you look the other way or something like that, that you're this person's gonna cheat or something like that or something's gonna go wrong. So you're stepping back and you're giving this person a minute to breathe to find out, you know, is that true? Is that gonna happen? Something like that. It doesn't have to exactly be that way. But you're stepping back to like give this person a chance to prove that they're not what this what the King of Cups is thinking. Again, remember, don't get caught up with the gender. It could be a female here. Somebody's definitely looking out for your best interest, but they're, they have some concerns that they're seeing. And you're just giving this situation a chance, letting it thicken a bit to show that, you know what, this is fine. That's not what's going to happen. You're like trying to prove, like, you know, this has a better shot than you realize. I feel like you do recognize this person is looking out for your best interest. You're just, you might feel like they're a little bit more defensive than necessary, though. Okay. Let's move on to the end here, because I feel like the end is a good one for you. Queen of Cups, ask your angels. Your emotions, you're tied to this person already. I really feel like at this point, you're thinking about making this a relationship. 
and what you like, what you're seeing, you're liking. But I'm noticing the ask your angels here. I feel like this involves a deep conversation with the person you're considering because I'm not sure they're ready for that. You might need to talk with them a little deeper and find out where they, where they, where are they seeing this going. There's something about this with Ask Your Angels. It makes me feel like your emotions, you know where you stand at this point. You definitely know where you stand. And now it's just about getting in deeper with the person that you're interested in, seeing if they're on the same page. I feel like that's what Ask Your Angels is kind of like finding a way to like calmly find out where they're standing. Are they ready for this? Are they enjoying, are they preferring that it goes slow? Are they not ready to get into a relationship? They just want to keep seeing each other on a casual basis. Like, because I feel like at this point, you got to find out where the other person is. Because you know where you stand at this point. Now, where do they stand? And I feel like you need that help to, like, just, I feel like it might come to you in a dream. Or if you just kind of relax, something might catch your eyes. You're going down the street. Like, maybe there's, like, a hockey game or something like that. And you want to you just kind of get tickets for you both to go. And you could kind of find out, you know, is this person more looking to stay casual with some extra heat between the two of you if i dare or are are they interested in like seeing if this can be something permanent i feel like that's where you end up at the end of here you gotta really you know where you stand at the end of this because i feel like you're figuring that out here but something about the way they're coming in with the knight of wands like did they come strongly at first and then as this went forward and you were think figuring things out as the plot was thickening even though you're very much liking what you're seeing with this person and they seem like they're still interested, was it like a moment of passion for them that has kind of like simmered down since for them? And I feel like you got to figure that out. That doesn't seem to sit the same for everybody. You have to figure out where this person is at the end. Um, anything else? So I, I, I want to say like left or right what I'm seeing in the reading here, but I'm not seeing it. Fear. This is where you have to get in and find out with them where do they stand. I'm just going to reiterate a fourth or fifth time here, so I'm going to stop. Um, I'm going to wrap this up here. Okay. Hopefully that helped. Um, of course, if you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.